Hello and welcome to 8-4. Today we're going to be talking about classifying pairs, which means there are two lines or more, um, and uh, the learner will be able to classify pairs of lines that we're going to be working on. Um, we're specifically going to be working on parallel, uh, oh, parallel planes, good, and we're not going to really be talking about that much, but skew lines as well. And then perpendicular, where two lines meet at a 90, two lines intersect at a 90 degree angle. Um, that's going to be kind of what we're working on today. So let's get started. The photograph of the houses in the table on the next page are going to show some of the ways that lines can relate to each other. The blue lines are intersecting. So if we look at these blue lines right here. They are just intersecting lines. There's not really anything special. They just intersect each other, which means they cross paths. The blue lines are intersecting, uh, and then the purple lines, they are parallel. So if we look at these two, they go on forever, and they would never touch. The green lines are perpendicular. So if we look at these, they're kind of hard to see a little bit, but they are perpendicular. They cross at a 90-degree angle. And then lastly, the red lines are skew. So we'll kind of talk about, we've got this one here and this one here, skew lines. So let's get into some definitions of these lines. Okay, so this table I think is very important that you get it into your notes. Uh, it will definitely help you out in definitions, how to write names and that sort of thing. So our intersecting lines are just lines that cross at one common point. So you can see right here we have our common point where these two lines intersect. And we could explain this as line YZ intersects line WX. Or we could write it this way. So it's very important you get these into your notes, this whole table, so that you know what you're talking about on your test. Then we come to parallel lines. There are lines that are in the same plane. Now that's important. Now we're talking about lines that are on the same plane and not on the same plane. So we have to remember that a plane is just a flat surface that does not take up any space, but it's just kind of like a flat piece of paper, really. Um, but they never uh, intersect. No matter how which way you have them go, they will never intersect. And look how we would write that. If we want to say two lines are parallel, we would say line AB is parallel to line, I'm getting to the edge here, ML. Okay, so that's how we uh, use notation to describe parallel lines. Next, we have perpendicular lines. They intersect to form a 90 degree angles or right angles. So we could say line RS is perpendicular to line TU, or we would write it line RS, look at this, is perpendicular to line TU. So this is the perpendicular symbol. Now we have skew lines, and skew lines look like intersecting lines, but they're not because they are in different planes. So we have like one piece of paper, and then if I have another piece of paper going the opposite way, uh, they lie in different planes. Or in our picture below, we had two different houses that we were looking at those planes. They weren't on the same house. They weren't on the same roof or anything like that. They are in completely different spaces. So those are called skew lines. They're neither parallel nor are they intersecting. Now, if I drew this out farther, it would look like it is intersecting. But again, we're talking 3D shapes here. So really, that line, those two lines on here would not ever intersect. Okay, and then this is how we do our notation and writing. Line AB and line ML are, ML are skew. Line AB and ML are skew. So that's how we could write that if we're talking about skew lines. So skew are two lines that lie in different planes that do not intersect and they are not parallel. So let's try some problems. All right, so here we are supposed to classify each pair of lines. So if I'm looking at the lines in this first picture on the stairs, these two lines are parallel. They lie on the same plane 
and they do not appear to intersect, so they are parallel. So we would write same plane and do not intersect. That is why they are parallel. Okay, next we have, okay, so these lines, they cross. Do they cross at a 90 degree angle? No. So we would just say these are intersecting lines. And we know that they are intersecting because they cross at one common point. So we could just say cross at one common point. Okay, and next uh, we have two, we're looking at the string here and then the bars that go across and those are perpendicular lines. Uh, how do we know they are perpendicular lines? They cross at 90 degree angles, perpendicular. Okay, so that's all we need to do for these ones. Now we have one more here quick. Uh, so now this is what I'm talking about when you have skew lines. If I extended this line on forever and the line going up and down, uh, they would never touch because they're not even in the same plane. So these are skew lines. Uh, and I know they are skew because they are different planes. And then we would write not intersect slash parallel. They're not intersecting lines and they're not parallel lines. So lastly, we have one quick question here. The particles in a transverse wave move up and down as the waves, tra waves travel to the right. What type of line relationship does this represent? So we're saying they move up and down and it travels right. So this would be an, an example of perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines because intersect at 90 degree angles. And that is all we have for today. So this is just a review of our lines and how they relate to each other. And so anyways, I thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.